Oh wait, is she fully grown now? She is! Baby girl, you're all grown up! Baby girl, you stay here. It's a big boy fight. No, you don't get to do that. so cute. Iguanodon. It's a boy! You're gonna be your best friend. He's gonna be your best friend. Oh, look at I'm hugging him. Oh, we love him. How cute. Oh! Can't get any better than that. Best friend forever. We're back to our survivor, Silva, on Ark Survival Ascended, our baby's only playthrough, and we wake up on a new map, the Amissa modded map, and we find ourselves in a new world. Oh, hey! Hey, Boudica! How are you? What a good girl you are! Oh. Oh, you're just going to have me. You're so cute. But where is everything else? I have some chests in here. Here's some of my stuff. Looks like I'm wearing some stuff. It's a very interesting little building. It looks like I had a little setup for a bed here. Well, I guess that's um, a nice start. Someone's outside. Oh, Eladar, my guy, you're here. Oh, you have so many levels. Where are we, bud? Look at you. You're all grown up. I think I remember raising you a while ago. Then we went to bed. And now we're here. Somebody walking around. There's a little guy out there. Oh, dad. Hey, little fella. Are you wild? He has a little buffy on him. He's glowing. He's feeling good. Can we call him? Little man's. Oh, he's coming. Who are you, my friend? Are you okay? Do you want to be friends? We have we have our girl over there. What's your name, bud? Can I pet you? Oh! oh! Look at you! You're glowing, bud! Hey, let's be friends. Do you want to join us? I feel like there's a reason why you're here. I know we're babies only, but you know what? I have a good feeling about you. Come. We're meeting for the first time. Boudica, meet new guy. New guy, stop walking around. Come back over here, young man. Boudica, he's going to be a part of our unit, our community unit. It seems like we don't have any of our other little creatures, and I think we're somewhere very new. So, um, our boy here is going to help us out. I'm not sure what to name him. I come up with a name for you guy. I guess we'll see how how you perform. How you what character what character traits you possess, my friend, and then we'll name you based on that. But Boudica, say hello. Hopefully he behaves himself. You both have a little bit of yellow. Oh nice, I like that. You don't have a whole lot, but we're together, so we're gonna have to make the most of it, guys. Aladar, I'm glad you're here. I raised you from an egg. Maybe there was a reason why I only have Boudica and Aladar. It's okay. We're together now. I guess we better prepare so that, you know, we can go out and look for stuff. I 
do have some weapons. All right. I think we're going to go get the lay of the land. Come on, guys. Have to pick these guys up. This isn't working for me. Come here. Okay, they're safe. We're good. Okay, Aladar. Aboard my trusty steed, which I had named Aladar, we wander about the abandoned city that appears to be missing any residents. There were plenty of ideal spots to make a home. But what if the denizens return someday? Only to find us squatting within their lounges and storehouses. Not wanting to be rude and entitled, we decided to part ways with this location and find a spot of our own to settle down. I think we might be out now. It would be nice to be close to here. It's a pretty good landmark. It's a beautiful Triceratops. I think it's only fair to let out our friends. Since we're not trapped in that little city anymore. <laughs> okay, I want you two to follow me. I think you two should be great. You blend in really well in the grass. There we go. There's Boudica and our unnamed little fellow. The grasslands lush. The scenery, gorgeous. The Ichthyornis, squawking. There seemed to be so much land, but no decisions. Head empty. What was also empty were the stomachs of a pack of raptors, and we caught their eye. A tall juicy iguanodon, and a tiny human as an appetizer. So we ran. Ran to find my hyena, Don. They seem to have gotten lost in the tall grass. But as I looked over my shoulder, I realized that the raptors also got lost in the tall grass. How strange. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. They knew exactly where I was. I'm not sure where my dogs are. Hello. Where have you been? Where have you two been? <gasps> the raptors. Did I try to just decimate them? Telegornis is coming after me and I don't like it. <gasps> oh my god, it scared me! Did it just take some food off of me? Oh! <sighs> Safe to say, I had enough of being terrorized by airborne rats. I had once heard a woman in another life 
refer to seagulls as eagles of the sea. Eagles, these are not. Pretty sure these things would eat seagulls out of spite. But back to my waning patience. Again, we departed. Too many predators equated to far too much chaos. Plus, I couldn't see my dogs in the grass, and I think they were having a hard time finding me. We needed to find some place that was farther away from water, but open, so predators couldn't ambush us from the cover of the trees. Somewhere with adequate resources, so I can start building a shelter right away. Maybe we'll settle right here and just make some kind of house. Then we came across an area that looked ideal. There was trees for wood, stone to pick. Water was nearby and there were bushes for fiber. We were on our way to building our first hut. There's rocks, there's woods here. I'm sure we will be fine. Or so I thought. So cute, Jay. What is that? That's a carnal. That's a carnal, my friend. We have to defeat him. He's going to destroy us. Um, hello? Go get him. In a fight mode! Oh my god, he's a level 130. And they destroyed him. Oh my god, that's amazing. That was amazing. These dogs, fantastic, beautiful. We love it. That Carno did me a frighten. Fortunately, my trusty doggos were there to help us overtake it in the fight. Now we had another problem. I needed metal in order to construct these wooden rustic structures. There was no metal to be found nearby. So it was decided to continue on in search of metal nodes. If they ended up being too far away, then we'd simply have to find a new spot to settle instead of this one. I see rocks, but I don't see metal, which we're gonna need some. Oh, we found we found a drop. Wow, that looked amazing. Oh yeah, more jerky. Weapons. Water. Spear bolt, we'll take that. We might need this. Beautiful. I'll let you carry that stuff, bud. A little heavy for me. Actually, I think this is better. Yes it is. Cool. That worked well. Is that a Calicotherium? No, that's a horse! That's a horse! Hello? Hello, horse. Do you have a baby with you? You don't, but you're gorgeous. You're pretty. Horse over there. I think it might be too cold for us, though. I feel like we need to go up this hill somehow. Hello, Steggy. The level 45. Wow. Coming. 
like it up here. The rocks look different. Is that important? Maybe they're just brown. Maybe they're just rich in iron. <gasps> I found some. Perfect. I knew if we just went up the mountain, we would find them. Micro after. Did it get scared? Because it's all my dogs. There's a little bug over there. We have to be careful. That galley is attacking something. That means that galley has a baby. Oh! <laughs> wow. Oh! Oh my gosh. Did they eat the baby? No, wait, is that the baby? Or am I just seeing things? Because this grass is glitchy as hell. Okay, yeah, they ate the baby. Wow. Okay, I came all the way over here for nothing. That was amazing. No cap. This is like a really good spot up here. Maybe I should build up here. It is kind of overlooking the water and everything. That could be cool. Okay. Change of plans, guys. We're gonna we're gonna build our house up here. It's gonna be great. Right on this spot. Who cares about where we were? Let's think about where we are. Let's see on the map where we are. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And it was quite fine. Until I realized there were very dangerous dinotherium over yonder. And I got spooked, magooped. Oh wow. Okay, I don't think we can live here anymore. We need to look we need to leave. We need to just pack up our stuff and go. We need to go, guys. We can't live up here. This is insane. There's like dinotherium and shit. I'm extremely confused. These guys are just chilling. I don't know where the others are. I only see one. Okay, let's not get scared. Don't follow me. I have to go scope this out. There was a Rex up here. Did it fall down? Yeah, it did. Okay, maybe not so bad. I just got a little bit scared. Dinotherium are very scary. And there was a level 100 something. I don't know where it went. Maybe it fell down? We can't get back up. I'm not sure, but that one is just chilling. Okay. We'll continue with our plan. Okay. Where's that dang old love bug, though? Bug sounds like a tiny little helicopter, by the way. We might have to attack it. Oh. 
Okay, this is clearly a mistake. Are they attacking it? Someone's biting it. I think it's going down to their level. They killed it. They got it. You guys are great. Oh my god. Did you get the hearts from it? You did. Amazing. Good job, guys. I think it was pretty good we did it. With all the immediate dangers out of the way, I went about foraging for materials to construct the new hut. satisfying i do want maybe a little foyer or a hall or something to walk into so we'll just add maybe a couple of them and that's all of them but we'll work on the walls and then i'll uh i'll decimate this whole area of trees wow i really need to go find like a good hatchet maybe in a loot somewhere oh Okay, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> there is a Carno right here. That was an adult Carno. Here's a baby. We're going to take care of it. Could be one of our guards. And I guess we'll use the meat from the parents. Yeah. <laughs> yes little baby we're gonna take care of you you have an imprint in four and a half minutes okay we're just gonna continue building but i do need lots and lots of wood okay well that was interesting i was gonna try to go out and see if i could find a loot crate but they're all very far away so we're just gonna scrap that and we're gonna continue struggling so i have a look at this two rexes they're about to be destroyed by these dinotherium. <laughs> and I hear a love bug nearby, so we're about to get wrecked by something. Or not, it could be just down there. Oh, what is. Okay, never mind. Just a cool purple Bronto. With a baby! <gasps> There's a baby! Uh oh, they're getting decimated. No, I'm still doing well. There's a 130 female. Oh, did she? Did that one get? Did she run away? Oh, oh that's not good. Well, the lower level Rex, the only one left. Oh, there's a baby Rex. We're gonna have to get that. We're gonna have to get that. Okay, um, I think we're gonna have to get rid of those Dinotheriums somehow. My guys can do it. Um, we're gonna pet you. We're gonna do the basic pet. Okay, let's go. I think we could take them. Just need to find a way to get down there. I think we can go down this way. We really that Rex could be amazing for us. Oh 
We gotta get rid of this one. Come on, you can do it! They did it. Perfect. Oh, there's another one. Come on, you guys can do it! Oh, it's a high level one, no less. Oh, it's a 130. She's stomping them. Are you guys okay? Barely. Barely any damage. Beautiful. Disable harvesting for now. Sounds like a bracky. It is. That is a tiny diplo. Okay. I can't get my dogs to attack it. I need them to eat it. Oh, it killed it. Damn it. That was a true orphan. Okay, that was a level 80. Okay, let's go this way. Actually exceptionally heavy. But I really need all this stuff. I need it. Can I just craft a bunch of stuff while we're here? We're gonna need walls anyway. Baby Rex running around. I hope it didn't disappear. Where did those Dinotherium go? Arno. There's a Rex. Well, we were looking for a baby Rex. I was running away. It was level 115. I feel like I'm going crazy right now. How did this happen? are freaking fantastic. There's baby micro raptors. We got to get one. Where did they go? Are they that fast? I want to go that way. There's a love bug. 
The baby Microraptors just disappear. Okay. Amazing. There were two baby Microraptors and now there's none. Amazing. And I lost the baby Rex. I have no idea where it's supposed to be. But my baby Carno needs to be imprinted. So we're gonna do that. Hello? May I imprint you? What kind of cure do you need? If you're wondering why I'm not able to give the baby animal care, it's because I downloaded this mod where you can pet creatures, but it seems to conflict with um, other prompts that show up on your creature. And I literally had to put this guy in a like cryo ball and, you know, eject it for me to see the prompt, but only for a second. And so I ended up oh. installing that. <laughs> that mod which really sucks because i love the petting emote but nobody has it there's no emote mods i need the emotes please give me the emotes anyway that's it maybe i could put the baby away okay it says do you want here it said it right away now it doesn't say it anymore Great, this is fantastic. Holy crap. I don't want to see the tracking info. Why is this a thing? Great, now I have to worry about terror birds. I want to go on a walk. Okay. I guess we could do that. Come on. You have been imprinted. Is that a baby or after? Raptor, baby we got him we finally got a baby raptor holy hell it's only level 90 but you know what it could probably keep up with my dogs here is a baby i think it's a baby parasaur but I don't think we'll be able to do much for that. Let's give this guy some meat. There's a little one. There, there you are. Hi. Let's get you a meat. Can you come this way? Oh, hello. Level A50 Parasaur is probably not what I want. Okay. Baby Raptor, you just stay right there, bud. Take some more meat, please. You're gonna need it. Really don't want this Bronto getting in here. Okay. Amazing. Here it is. What is going on? Huh? No, not the baby. Okay, they'll handle it. Look. 
crazy little guy. Oh, I got it. Dawn approaches. Here we are. We had some run-ins. So the little baby raptor got eaten by another raptor. Fantastic. Don't know how that happened. Uh, I was walking away. That's how that happened. Um, I was out collecting wood. Uh, our little car now, it's all grown up. We're just going to pop melee into him. He'll probably run around with us at some point. Uh, we still got the two dogs, but this is the house. Small, quaint. It will suit our needs for now. Here's the the main little circle area. Then we have the connecting piece. There isn't much inside, but let's go in. We got the door. We have this big room here. As you can see, we have a little little attic of sorts. I just put like some rope, uh, rope walls and stuff, rope ceiling. And we have two chests, and this is where we're gonna like come back, put our stuff. We'll probably get more storage, you know, put it around in here as best as we can. It would be great if there's storage that went on the walls. Maybe we could find something like that. But um, I think it's time to, I'll have to make a bed, very important. And then we'll probably go run around a little bit, see what we can find. Okay, we have everything the wraps cleaned up. Our inventory is at a minimum and I have my puppies in my pocket. We're just gonna go wander about. I really want to get those drops, as many drops as we can. Let's just run around, avoid extreme danger. That Rex is fighting. It's fighting with little guys. That's awesome. There's a lot of horses down here. If there's any baby horses. Let's say that's not a baby horse, is it? No. Heard a Bronto fall down. Keep moving. For Alice. Let's stay away from them. Oh, they're eating a baby Bronto. I just realized what that sound was. There's a baby Bronto. What level are you, bud? You're a beautiful color, by the way. 40. We kind of want a higher level baby Bronto. I can see if that horse has a baby. I'm gonna swim. I don't really want to go into the redwoods unless I get my dogs out. I'm gonna get the dogs out. I like this little uh fun spot here. This looks like this could be a nice little hidey spot to build, like, a little outpost or something. I realized I never made a bed. Fantastic, so smart. Oh, baby Stego! Oh, a little Diplo. Baby Diplo, what level are you? Level 45. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. I'm gonna see if there's any drops around.
there's a way to get up there from here. The elephant just walking around with his tot with his trunk up. Oh hello. You're a baby. <gasps> Imprint. Yes. Absolutely. Where did your parent go, little guy? Oh my word. Aladar, we have to feed him. <laughs> Can you get these bushes, please? Oh, forgot. He's so loud. I forgot you don't harvest anything. Oh my god, we got a Bracky. I don't know how, that was crazy. Like, who, how, where did your parent go? Did it just get, like, decimated by a bunch of predators? I would have thought even at level 45 it could have handled itself. Oh. I see some Brontos over there. What is going on right there? We're gonna have to escort you, my friend. That's a bad choice to do. Let's just get you some food. We're gonna have to get the dogs out for this. We have to take this guy back home. This is an amazing find. I can't believe it. We'll put as much food on you as we can. Honestly, who are you? Excuse? Okay, you guys, attack. all these berries and we need to turn off the harvesting again. <laughs> I mean, I was just going out looking for loot crates, but we found so much more. Now we have to go back. This is taking a while. I don't know. Why is it going back down? So, yeah, I know I could put it in a Pokeball, but I don't want to do that. Whoa, these are baby Ixiornis. Hold on. Hello? Baby? Oh, I just fell down. That's amazing. Oh, hello. Come to join us. Where's your parent, little Ixiornis? I want one of these. Hi. Am I unable to imprint you guys? You guys are gorgeous, by the way. You look so cute. I can't even see their prompt. Probably because their parent is still around. <gasps> there it is. <sighs> okay. 
Let's get these little guys. Where are they? Hi. You're too tiny. Here you are. Okay, I'll put this kind of pokeball. They're just so little. Hi, little guy. You wanna come with your brother? We'll put the little babies. We'll put the tiny babies in there. They fit. They fit right in the little ball. Okay, can you please just follow me? We're gonna get you back up here no matter what. Plus, the time it takes walking this bracky back, it will be growing. Which is super important. Alright, we're here. <laughs> we have a Bracky. We finally have one. Oh my god, this is the best day ever. I had to put him in um I had to put him in a cryo ball a couple times because it was just hard navigating him through the little city. But we're all here. And I think this is where we're gonna stop for now. I'm actually really tired. But we did get a couple babies. We have the Ichthyornis. And did we get another creature? No, I think it was just the Garno that we raised up. I think I'll work oh. on uh, getting some workbenches, stuff like that. And then we'll go venture out and try to get some loot crates at some point. No, but I think this is a pretty good spot. There's a lot of things here. We can get far. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think we'd been able to make it this far if it wasn't for Boudicca and our little friend here. You good boy. Yeah, we pet you and we pet her. Oh, so cute. So cute. So cute. We love them. 